energy resources. Now the most important energy resource is the sun. The process in the sun that creates the energy is the fusion of hydrogen into helium. This creates a huge amount of energy which is radiated as electromagnetic waves. And these electromagnetic waves, they heat the Earth unevenly. And as a consequence of this, it generates wind. Now, the sun's energy is absorbed by the process of photosynthesis in trees and locked into the carbon cycle. These ancient forests received all of this sun's energy and then over time the forests were buried into the earth where heat and pressure turned them into coal. Now there are two types of energy resources, renewable and non-renewable. The renewable energy resources are biomass, food supplies, solar power, hydroelectric power, tidal power and wind power. The non-renewable resources are coal, oil and natural gas, which are the fossil fuels created by this process where ancient plants and animals have over time been converted into coal and oil. And the other non-renewable source of energy is nuclear power, because nuclear power requires uranium and plutonium in order to fuel it. Now, the way that you remember the difference between energy types and energy resources is that once you've learned the kind grey cat has large sad eyes now empty, you learn the energy types and you keep them separate from the energy resources. Now, do we have an energy crisis? Energy can never be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. These are the forms explained in the kind grey cat. But every time there is an energy transfer, some of the energy is converted into a type that can't be used again. There's always some waste, there's always some energy you can't get back. We do not have an energy crisis, what we have is a fuel crisis. The fossil fuels 